That is really giving me like I've just finished a Harry Bow Cola bottle. Mm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with a Michigan box. Yeah, and this one looks very fluid. I'm looking it does. forward to it. It very does. Fluid. It's a very liquid diet yeah. today. I am loving the ratio of liquids to food. Yeah. Sometimes it's really exciting just to try more sodery things, yeah. isn't it? Um, so this box was from the wonderful Richard from Michigan. Thank oh, you so he much. He likes to be known Rich. Rich. Oh yes. Rich, Rich. from Mish. I'm excited. Yeah. No lettuce, get... so should we just crack yeah, on? Yeah. Let's it's go a, for it. It's a blind taste test. Yeah, it is. Have we tried something from Downey's or is it just a familiar? I like... don't know if the name is just familiar or we've actually tried something. But these look really nice, don't they? Nice um, classic design. I'm really enjoying like the, the white top with like the bold color at the yeah. bottom. It's kind of like a Pantone yeah, card, isn't swatch. it? I've got ah, vinegar and sea salt. Oh. Oh. Switching it up a bit. Yeah, vinegar getting the uh, front row billy. Yeah. Top billy. And maybe that is because on this bag, they want the vinegar to be yeah. the number one. Yeah. Bob's being really needy, so I think he might just need to sit in our video for oh. a minute. That's all right, Bob. You Poor sit here and you'll realize not much is going on. Not much is going on, Bob. So it says, our story began in 1984 when Rosemary mm. Downey Jr. and her... <laughs> 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 Did you think, oh my god, is that what I went down? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our story began in 1984 when Rosemary Downey Hogarth and her family began selling hot chips out of the first Downey storefront in Waterford, oh, Michigan. Oh, so like hot chips is in like fries? Or are they spicy? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. We've been making chips by hand in small batches ever since. We're proud to be family owned, family operated and made exclusively in, in Michigan. Michigan. Says our process begins with locally sourced potatoes from Michigan farmers. Our potatoes are peeled and carved of any imperfections by hand. Ooh. They are then sliced and cooked by hand until perfectly no. grounded. Next, our chips are hand sorted to ensure only the best chips make it into the bag. Finally, they're seasoned, bagged, and brought to a shelf near you. Please visit us at downeyspotatochips.com. Lots of hands going on there. Yeah. Hopefully clean hands. Yeah. <laughs> These look really good. So we've got original sea salt, vinegar and sea salt, and... BBQ. Excellent. Let's crack open a drink. Should we go for the Fago? First. Yes. So we've got two brands here. We've got Town Club or Towny Club. Club and Fago. Yeah, genuine Fago. Now we have had a Fago before. I think maybe the cream soda and orange, but I haven't seen any of the other flavors before. No. To start us off, while we have these crisps, we're going to go for Fago Red Pop, which is sounds very non-specific, doesn't it? Yeah. And there's like strawberries on the outside. Oh, naturally and artificially flavored strawberry. Ooh. That sounds good. Red pop. Get your red pop. Wow, the color of that is fantastic. Is <laughs> that? Like in there, it's like, woo. Naturally caffeine free. Cheers. Oh yeah, it says. Genline, what's genline? Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, and a butt ton of red 40. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Also, does it say anything about this? No, it just says. No. I A M A. Right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm, nice strawberry flavour, isn't it? Lovely mm. strawberry flavour. That's the thing, it's not like loads and loads and loads of strawberry flavour, but there's enough there, isn't it? It's mm. just like a sweet red pop, it really is. It's not like trying to define yeah. something, it's just like a nice fruity fruity drink. It's not like so strawberry, is it? No, it's not like, you know, in the past I've said it tastes like a slushy. It's not, it's not, not like that. Anymore. No, I'm okay, thanks. It's not like it tastes like a strawberry slushy, yeah. but I think they really hit the nail on the head with red pop. It's, yeah. it's just kind of fruity and, yeah. and like strawberry. Yeah. I really like that. That's, That's really good. delicious. Right, should we go uh, vinegar yeah. and sea salt for the emphasis mm. on vinegar? Yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh, I'm loving how pale they are. And I thought they were just broken, but they're not. They're just really small. Yeah. They're those like thin ones you can really see through the grease. Mm -hmm. mm. I really would say the emphasis is on the vinegar. Yeah, really great vinegar flavour. And if I'm being honest, I think when I want salt and vinegar, it's the vinegar I really want to mm. be punchy. Well, the salt's quite simple, isn't it? Mm. Vinegar can add so much flavour. Oh, yeah. 
And also, if you have too much, it can really the vinegar can really change it to off. a good crisp or not. Mm. Don't you just love like a fizzy soda with crisps? Mm. And also, it's not too um, it's not too fizzy. Oh, that's nice, and those are very nice. Or well, should we open another drink? Yeah, maybe. I'm interested to know what rock and rye is. Mm. Oh, it's a cream cola. What? So it's cola and cream soda, I guess. Oh, this is That's really cool. exciting. It sounds like a really nice mix. See, you it? wouldn't. Oh my word! It's like. Oh, it's. It's red kind of again. Red. Oh, I wonder if this is kind of Dr. Peppery. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, that's nice. That takes me back. Almost like a Coke float. Do you remember when we used to get Coke floats when we were on holiday? Yeah, it's like um. You know, cola, but it's got a real nice creamy edge to it, isn't it? Mm. That's nice. First, I was like, why is it red? But I'm wondering, like, because it's red, does that mean they've not put as much colouring because it's not as dark? In a way, cola's slightly red, well, but it's more brown. Brownie. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice though, isn't it? That really does taste like a Coke float. That's a lovely mixture of cream in there. Mm. It's enough. It's not yeah. too much. And the aftertaste is almost like I've just had like some buttercream. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. a cake, a chocolate yeah. cake with buttercream. Like a sweet creaminess. Yeah. Original usually, sea salt. Yeah, usually we don't have many drinks, so it's a lot easier to put them in order. Yeah. Whereas like, we've got so many here. Ooh. They look nice, don't they? Maybe we should have tried the originals first. Maybe. Mmm. Right, good. I was thinking after the vinegar and sea salt ones, these weren't going to be as like... Wow, these are so good. Mm. So much salt, it's lovely. The crisps are perfect, aren't they? Yeah. And the way they salted them is just lovely. It's like a really nice, simple, plain crisp. Mm -hmm. What is fantastic about these is how salted they are. Mm. The salt as well. You know you've got like salt and then you've got salt. I can't explain it. You know you've got you have... like sea salt, proper sea salt. Yeah, is that what it is? Mm. It's the fact that it's sea salt. And look how like thin they are Yeah, and crispy. See through, it's like bone china. Mm. Mm. As I said before, they're those perfect simple crisps you just have with it, like a sandwich. You know when we go to like Europe and mm. We buy just oh, like... Oh, to Europe. To Europe. Okay, <laughs> we're in Europe. You mean Central Europe. Yeah, mm. I just mean, I wasn't going to limit it to Mallorca. You mean mainland Europe. Mainland Europe. Yes. When we just get like some salted crisps. These are fantastic. And these are some of the best, just original mm. sea salted crisps. Yeah. Yum. They're fantastic. How's the barbecue going to do with these? I don't know. Another drink? Uh-huh. Let's try grape. Yeah. Not something we often get here, but I'm excited. What do you mean often? We hardly ever get it here. We don't get it here. Although, when I was in Sainsbury's, I saw Welch's grape juice. But like, um, you know, in the carton, mm. not like a pop. You know, like that do mm. the Welch's- Do we Welch's... get Welch's here? No, but they do the Welch's grape juice. And I think they oh, had another grape juice. Very purple. It's so like purple. a dark purple. This is like this a have witch's potion. This red 40 potion. and blue one. I know my colors now. I know my colors. Cheers. <laughs> That was like a magician who's like, this says your name. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you, Al. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. That's quite... That's nice. Yeah. Do you know what that is tasting like? What? Because I didn't know, but you know aloe vera mm. water? That is actually great. Great flavour, yeah. Great flavour. Mm. It's giving me aloe vera vibes. Yeah. This is one of... The, even though it's so purple, it's one of the more natural grapes I've had. Yeah. And I much prefer that. Considering to the, what it looks like. Considering what it looks like. It's actually very natural flavouring. I much prefer that Tasting. to the um, Kool-Aid one. Yeah. I really didn't like mm. that. It was really fake, whereas this is delicious. Yeah. I actually like this. One of the best grape juices I've had. And these are Downey's Barbecue. It doesn't specify the, um, the type of barbecue, as we've come to know. There's, There's many different barbecue. styles of barbecue. These do look quite golden, but... Made in Michigan. Have we got many Michigan followers? Really nice. Are they giving you, like, cheese and onion-y vibe? Not really. They give me, like, a sweet barbecue. Almost like a... What was that thing called? Mesquite. Mesquite. Like a sweet mesquite barbecue. These are giving me quite smoky. Mm. Like... It's not punch you in the face barbecue. Well... Like some of the more mustardy, tangy... It's very smooth, quite sweet. From the beginning, I might say, oh, the barbecue might be my favorite, mm. but I'm thinking the sea salt and, and the vinegar and sea salt mm. are topping it here. Definitely. It's kind of leaving the barbecue behind. It's a lovely barbecue, 
but those sea salt are like above lots of sea salt and those vinegar and sea salt are above mm. lots whereas those barbecues kind of just get a bit lost with other brands especially because the flavor of those two is so strong mm. and the barbecue is very mellow yeah should we try cola let's go cola because when it comes to cola i feel like pepsi and coke get all the headlines they do but there are a lot of like smaller companies who do a cola aren't there i do like, find it funny when i see areas. a cola from a different company mm. There's also a cola There's a from cola here. yeah. See, that's nice. It's not Pepsi and it's not Coke, but it's a nice cola flavor, isn't it? And that's what's so crazy is that like so many people know about cola and Pepsi that when you picture cola or Pepsi, mm. like you picture that flavor. Yeah. So then when you taste another one, it kind of tastes a bit odd, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you ever have it when you went to, say, like a brownie camp or like when I went to a cup or scout camp? You'd have like a non-brand. Sometimes, yeah, they would get the supermarket cola for whatever reason, I guess. They thought Cheaper. they were saving money, yeah. I remember when we had those, they tasted really bad because you know what Coke could, tastes yeah. like. You're like, that is so bad. But but, actually, this tastes half decent. Yeah, that's the thing. It, it's not... It's not bad, it's just because you're so used to a cola flavour. But if you live in Michigan and these are like your popular drinks, mm. I feel like a lot of people would go for this over yeah. cola, especially if it is more of like a local brand. Mm. You would support more local, wouldn't you? I can't explain what that style is, but I think the best not word this, for it is, is jazzy, <laughs> isn't it? Modern jazz. Yeah, it's almost like that yop kind of brand. Yeah, I can see that. It's funny, it's like, I could picture someone's carpet being like yeah. this back in the day. I, I like this actually, I think I was least looking forward to this mm. one. But in some ways it does taste like Coca-Cola mm. to me, don't you think? Yeah, it's got the elements and that's of That's actually Coke. better than I thought it was going to be, mm. but it's probably bottom of the pile so far. Yeah. What are we going for next? These two savoury snacks? Yeah. So we've got Sherman's Handmade Tennessee Fiesta Firecrackers. Or is it Fiesta? Fiesta. Fiesta. And we've got Hot Crackers. Oof. And these are both spicy gourmet crackers. I'm scared. What's it say on the back, Al? Our crackers are made here in Michigan, but the recipe comes straight from Tennessee. Mm. If you like hot and spicy with a Southwest kick, you want to keep a bag at home at all times. Try Fiesta crackers with cheese or salsa. Bust them up in a bowl of chili or taco salad. They go great with any dip by themselves or with a cold drink. Or well, we've got some cold drinks. These pretty much say the same apart from bust some up in a bowl of chili or chicken soup. Mm. Right, what should we go first? I think they're both gonna be hot, aren't they? Yeah, I feel like they're both gonna be pretty spicy. Should we have a little glass of yeah. um, oh, cream soda? Cream soda to cool us, like, yeah. wow. I that, love that smell. Listen to that. Like, out of all of them, I feel like they've all been quite, like, flat. That is... It would help if I was quiet. Yeah, <laughs> if you wanted me to hear the bubbles. <laughs> And it's still going, look at it, it's like, out of all of them, I think they've all been quite flat, whereas yeah. that is like so powerful. Really bubbly. I believe it was the cream soda we have tried. I recognize that branding yeah. and the- I like the colors of this. I'm going for hot crackers. You're going for cream soda. Oh, nice. Mm. Are they as hot as they say? No, salty. Mm. The heat's coming after. Almost like saltines. They are. Mm. I really enjoy little crackers like this. Mm. They kind of remind me of the ones you get at Denny's. You know, when you have soup. Oh my word, I totally forgot about crackers. that. On the side. Mm. Yeah. Mm. These are great good. flavour. What is it? Hot crackers. Mm. These are great. Delicious. They would be great with soup. Mm. Mm. Especially if it's just quite a plain soup. Now it's definitely got heat, but I really was expecting it to be blowing my head off. Mm. That is so good. Really nice. What a lovely flavour. And that's Fiesta Firecracker. I really like the texture as well. The texture's lovely. Almost a little bit soft, not like really yeah. crunchy. What's really nice about them is the texture. Isn't it funny? They've all practically stayed. So that's what they're rarely meant to be like. Oh, they smell a lot hotter out. Do they? Fiesta Firecracker does give oh, me that yeah. vibe. 
I love the texture of these. They're quite greasy, which I yeah. like. It's not just spice though. Does it taste like a different spice, these ones? I wonder what the spice is. Oh my word, yeah, saltine crackers, Al. You know when we often have really spicy things? Mm. Are they usually like salty as well? No, I've not really had a salty, spicy thing at the same time. Yeah. And I think that's what's so nice about mm. these is that yes, it's got a kick, but it's got a really lovely salty burst. Mm. And I think that's what is so good about them. Yeah, real salty burst with like a peppery hit. Mm. I wonder if they make the saltine themselves or if they literally just get saltine and kind of- I don't know. Mm. Wow. What one's your favorite? It's hard to say. They're both really, really mm -hmm. yummy. I was worried about these. I thought and they were really going hot. handfuls in. I think it might be the hot crackers. They're mine as well. Whoa. And if me and Al can hack them, I'm sure you Probably could most too. people can, yeah. Sherman's, well done. That's really good. But like the fact that he sat there, it's a chili with fire coming yeah. out of his head. I was really scared for these. These are so good. They might have well some artists that are Well done, Rich, good pick. Right, should we finish this round off with a little bit of orange soda? Yes. I love orange soda and no, I'm not quoting and Keenan so does and Cal. Cal. <laughs> but I love it. It's just so good. We may have tried this one, but it really has been a while. So that's why we really don't mind getting like duplicates mm. because sometimes you just need to remember the flavor. Wow. Although, are the bubbles making the spice really yeah. hot for you? Yeah. <laughs> I might have to wait a moment. Maybe it's because Coca-Cola is such an iconic flavor. You know how we were saying, you know, just the cola, one of these. Yeah. Doesn't taste right. But although I love Fanta, yep. there's something about this kind of yeah. orange soda. It's like soda. a different level of Fanta, isn't yeah. it? That just is so good. Although I feel like American Fanta is closer to that. I don't know if you've ever seen, but Fanta that you get, I think in like a lot of Europe as well, mm. Our Fanta is practically yellow. Sorry, do you mean mainland Europe or do you mean- I just mean the whole entire, us? yeah. I feel like, what, Google now US Fanta versus like the rest mm. of the world. Our Fanta is practically yellow. And every yeah. time I go to America, I forget how orange your Fanta is. Mm. It's literally orange, isn't yeah. it? Those, all of those fizzes were so good. Yeah. Shall we quickly kind of put them in order now? So I am going red pop number one. That was delicious. Cream soda, rock and rye, orangey or orange the grape and then the cola. And this is your top? That's my top. Okay, I'm gonna do this, this. I had a feeling that red one would be your lowest. It, it's almost like the opposite. Yeah, isn't that funny? Apart from cream soda was quite high. Still. I think they were really good. Yeah, really, really good. Really, really delicious. Lucky Michigan to have these mm. as your drink. That's yeah, are they mainly in Michigan? Can you? I know, yeah. Tell us how far this stretches. Like, could you buy this in a Ralph's in California or. Or you in know, like the States or a drug around store it. or. Yeah. You know. And let us know if you're from Michigan, would you go Fago Orange or would you go Fanta or would you go like Diet Coke or Pepsi or yeah. would you go Fago? That's yeah. what I want to know. Do you stay local? Those were really delicious, the crackers. What are you giving the crackers? The crackers? I think I'm gonna have to give them 10 out of 10. Yeah, they're oh, so good. They are really good. Really delicious. Should we go for these um, Fortman yeah. bakery um, crackers? So we have had Fortman before. We've had like orange cream. Yeah, and I swear. And another one. Was it strawberry or something? Maybe strawberry, yeah. These are summer berry wafers and these were actually a limited edition. They're baked with real fruit. And I seem to remember that last time because mm. they felt really fresh. Real bakers, real ingredients, real delicious. Here at Vortman Bakery, we think real tastes better. That's why our bakers insist on using the best real ingredients, hand selected for their exceptional quality and flavor, baking really delicious cookies since 1951. Awesome. Oh, these are actually Ontario, Canada. Yeah, I was I remember. wondering if these came in a Canadian box. We need to be but careful though. Why? <laughs> They're literally Crumbs. Crumble, crumbs, yeah. I think this side is the best. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Michigan is right on the border, look, to Canada. Oh, wow. Oops. They like bend at the end. Ooh. What flavor? Summer berry. Mmm. Delicious flavor. So fruity. Really light. Yeah, and natural fruity. I love how thin they are as well. Mm. I think I remember saying the Vortmans were some of my favorite wafers, wafers. like this. Mm. And I really do think they're saying of like baked real fruit does make a difference. And it really does. It doesn't taste artificial at, all. at all. That is so nice. It almost tastes like um like a, a berry, berry blast. 
Like, you know when you see people make nice fresh cakes? Yeah. And they do like, you know with the lemon drizzle, you do a mm. lemon drizzle, but they've kind of put berries all together and they've made like an icing on a cake. Mm. Like a water icing. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, I do know what you mean. Like 10 out of 10 for those. That is so good. Mm. I think I'm team fruity in a wafer like this. They know how to do wafers. That is so good. Do you want to do like a fizzy drink? Yeah, let's do one. Now this is Towny Club. This is exciting. So we've got Michigan Cherry. I like how big these are. This seems like a lot. So made in Michigan. And it says it's made with real cane sugar, doesn't it? Yeah, cherry soda with other natural flavors, 3% juice. We didn't have a cherry in the other one, did no. we? No, I'm surprised at that. I wonder yeah. if they have one. Wow, these feel a lot fizzier. I like the branding, just simple. See, that's like a top. Like a bottle top. A beer top. This is 473 mils. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the cherry is strong Whoa. with that one. That's a powerful cherry. It's a nice cherry though, isn't it? It's almost like a glasso cherry. Yeah, and it's like, um, you know, cherry drops, mm. the hard boiled sweets. Or like when you bite into a Queen Anne. Oh my word, it's literally a Queen Anne. Mm. I'm not the a biggest cherry juice fan, like, you know, like a cherry mm. drink fan. So I'm not the biggest fan of that, but like, if you love cherry, especially like the glasso cherries, yeah. you would be in heaven yeah. with that. That's really it's nice. Really nice. It probably wouldn't be my go-to because it's nice having a little bit, but I think if I was to drink a, a whole, whole glass or a whole bottle, I think I'd get a bit sickly for mm. me. But it is a really nice the, flavour, isn't the it? The flavour in that is powerful, mm. isn't it? Are we going for these wafers? Should we go for some of these wafers? Yeah. What these are exciting, are aren't they? These? Recco, is it? Yeah, Recco. And what's that word say on top? Pizzelli. Piz Pizzelli. The authentic Italian styled waffle cookie. And obviously they come in big packages and he <laughs> wanted to send four flavors. <laughs> so we've got lemon. Oh my word Al, look, ice cream sandwiches. Oh wow. Vanilla. Dark chocolate. And strawberry. I was gonna say it almost looks like the waffle of, you know when you go to an ice cream place, you either get a standard cone or you get the fancy oh, yeah. waffle cone. And that's what this no, is No, but like. you know what this reminds me what? of? When you used to go to a restaurant and you'd get like an ice cream for dessert and they'd shove that in. Yeah, So it says fancier. here, created from my family's centuries old recipe from the Abruzzo region of Italy, our Pizzelli cookies are treasured for their crispy, delicate flavor and time honored artistry. Made with cast iron griddles and the best of ingredients, I bring you a little taste of my heritage. That's so cool, isn't it? I feel like they must make ice cream cakes. Oh, these as are well. made in Canada. This is so cool. Ontario. And don't you love that they're actually doing different flavours yeah. rather than just the plain? Um, this strawberry flavour is actually limited oh, lim edition. Lim dish. Lim dish. Wonder how well it did. I wonder how much this is. They they come in like little bags in there. Uh, yeah. So that's really good because we might open all of these now, but it'd be such a shame to just waste yeah. them. Whereas we can open them in groups. And save some for the next time we have ice cream. Yeah, they've got good long dates as well, actually. When's the date on that? Uh, November. Oh, that's pretty decent. Start with the- Vanilla? Classic vanilla, yeah. Look. That right, so let sweet, us know who it? has these. Oh, look, they've got like serving ideas. Recco Pizzelli ice cream sandwich. S'mores. Good idea. Individually layered Pizzella cake. So you, oh, put it with your favorite pudding. Use as many cookie layers as desired, top with whipped cream. Or cannolis. And then you do a cannoli. Oh, look. Dip in your favorite beverage, dust with powdered sugar, drizzle with melted chocolate, Oof. use with chocolate fondue, crumble. crumble. Top with jam hazel. Oh. oh, my word. That's such a good idea. We can and stop there. You can, like, we can stop there. That top so with cool. hazelnut spread. Yes. Yes, please. That's a really good idea, like, because that just shows they really believe in their product and they want you to enjoy it the best way possible. It's nice when brands tell you how to eat something. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Smell of that is amazing. <laughs> Smell there. This does remind me, as you know, said Italy. It reminds me of a girl. I feel like I've had an ice cream or gelato mm, in a that. cone like this. Mm. Like, that is good. Always reminds me of... Pirouettes. No. What are those baby biscuits called? Rusk. Rusk. Really? Yeah. Really nice. I'm excited to try the other flavours mm. now. That's fantastic. Uh, lemon? Limon? Oh, yeah. Very subtle. Very subtle lemon. In some ways, at first, you wouldn't even notice, but it's in the aftertaste. It's basically like the vanilla with a, a squirt. 
Yeah, but that's lemon. nice. Yeah. I didn't actually want too much lemon in there. No. Ooh. I think it's so good that they've gone for flavors. I wonder if these would be good in like a tiramisu. Ooh. Right. Yeah. And they Absorber. soak up all that. Well, they say about doing pudding, so mm. surely with tiramisu. Yeah. Should we try cola? Let's go for it. Oh, that smells nice. Mm. Isn't it good? Obviously, it's got that general cola flavor, but it's got a different ending almost. Mm. I don't think it's good as the Fago, but I don't think they're necessarily going for that same flavor. Do you know what that tastes more it's like? It's got like a sherbetty lemon aftertaste. It almost tastes more like a, a Haribo cola bottle. Mm. Like yeah. That's what it tastes like. That's what the aftertaste is, like a kind of sweet sherbetty flavor, mm. isn't it? That is really giving me like, I've just finished a Haribo cola bottle. Mm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> On this Reco, nice one, my son. <laughs> nice. On this Reco strawberry pizzelli, they've showed it with um, oh, whipped cream, cream and a strawberry. Yeah, they've not um, done that with anyone. Else. And that's obviously because the flavour is strawberry, but that would also be a nice way to serve yeah, it. Yeah, it's cracking, cracking, my son. Oh, nice. That is delicious. Cheers. That's the sort of strawberry smell I like. It's cute with the colour. Mm. Once again, again very subtle. Very subtle, but nice. Very nice aftertaste. And like they're saying here. If you had it with fresh strawberries mm. and cream, it would probably bring the strawberry out yeah. even more. I suppose though, you probably don't want it too flavoured. No. Because if you're having it as an accompany, yeah. you actually- Don't want to overpower. Oh. Mm. That's one of my favourite ones actually. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Another drink? Yep. Should we do tropical punch? Yeah. Oh, I was about to do it to you. I like how big these bottles are. Yeah, I love them. And the um, colours. Funky. Mm. I think nice. that's um, my favourite townie mm. at the moment. I did like the cherry, but I'm much more likely to drink something mm. like this. And the way it said tropical punch, I was kind of expecting this to be really cherry, mm. but actually it might, might be in yeah. there, but I'm not getting cherry. Just sometimes if it's like fruit punch mm. in America, it's quite strongly cherry, cherry yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> it's just a cherry. 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 Now dark chocolate. Unfortunately, I think these are probably going to be subtle again. Yeah. So I'd wish it would like punch me in the face with a dark chocolate. I can punch you in the face. Yeah, with a dark chocolate. Yeah, I can get a bar of... Ooh, Thank these you. seem like more delicate. They they look like they're chocolate. It smells like mm. an Oreo. Smell that. Mmm. Good. It's good. It can. It's different consistency. It is. I think that must be because it's got chocolate, chocolate. in it. As I said, it is very subtle but it's really nice. I think the vanilla has the most flavor. Mm. And then I would say this one has the most flavor yeah. after that. And then the lemon and strawberry are very subtle. It's subtle, yeah. It's got enough that it feels so different from that, uh -huh. doesn't it? Or any oh, of the yeah, others. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like that one would go really, really well with ice cream, mm. like a vanilla. Especially it just, kind of yeah. takes vanilla to the next level. And then chocolate, in some ways, it might not be as good with chocolate. It might just be it. more... Vanilla though, don't you think? I'll still try. <laughs> You'll take one for the team. I'll take one for the team. Delicious. In some ways, I'm going vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, and then lemon. Vanilla, chocolate, yep. strawberry, strawberry lemon. lemon. Yeah, I thought you would. Mm. Really, really good. But I don't think you can just beat the classic vanilla, can no. you? The vanilla was actually absolutely lovely. Yeah, really good. If you're looking for some wafers for your ice cream or just for some dessert, That'll be really good. That's the one, yeah. We have got two more things and one more drink. And what's exciting is these two uh, things left are Sanders. Or Sanders. Oh my word, I can't believe I said Sanders. I, know. I feel like I say Sanders for this. Yeah. It's Sanders. Like Saunters. I'm excited about these because I'm now more of a mint chocolate fan. I'm excited about these because I love pecan and caramel clusters. Yeah. Isn't this just a really nice box? 1875. Sanders fine chocolatiers, milk chocolate, pecan, caramel clusters. I'm worried about how many different accents you did there. <laughs> I was saying pecan because <laughs> and you so many. You weren't even trying to do an accent. So many of you say it's not a pecan, it's not where you weigh in. So I said pecan. Pecan. Pecan, caramel, because they say caramel. Yeah. This is so cute. I bet this was expensive, but boy, you don't get many. Do you not? But it's because they're fancy. They're fancy. They're fancy. Big reveal. 
Dun, dun, dun. And I think it's only one tray. One tray. <laughs> you get two, one four, tray. six, seven, not even eight. But these look amazing. Are you They're going really these nice. first and then finishing I'm with I'm going to go mint first. Are you? Yeah. You finish with a mint. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Let's do that then. Oh, <laughs> you do what you want. Talk me around. You do you. Last time I've had Sanders, we loved it, didn't mm. we? That's good. I'm loving the ratio mm. of caramel. To chocolate and pecan. Right, go on, let us know how many of you have bought a box of these or received a box of these and eaten all of them within 10 minutes. <laughs> it's doable. Us in about five minutes. Was it Sanders where we had the chocolate, uh, the caramel block? Yeah, I definitely think we've had something caramelly from Sanders. I think that beat Russell Stover. Peak and sure. delight. I'm not sure. Sanders really is amazing. That was incredible. The caramel was delicious. The milk chocolate was good. I'm not the biggest fan of pecan, but did you not kind of feel like it was raisiny in there? Yeah, I guess because of the sweetness and the mm. chew, yeah. 10 out of 10. Are you telling me you didn't really enjoy these? I enjoyed them, but I don't think they're 10 out of 10 for me. What? I think they're 9 out of 10. Oh! Well, you're not getting any more of I those then. I think the Texas Millionaires are probably better. Yeah, that is amazing, mm. but come on. No, they can have a 10 as well. But they're 9 out of 10 for me, I think. Oh, they're fabulous. I love that they were a little small, maybe because it didn't have as much pecan. Maybe. Maybe I needed more nuttiness in there. Now, if I was a teacher, <laughs> it'd be nice to get these. It was 1875. As you munch that, I'll tell okay. you a bit of history. A young Bavarian confectioner with a borrowed barrel of sugar and a passionate dream set out to bring the finest confections to America. Over the years, Fred Sanders' old world recipes for chocolates, cakes, and his famous original gourmet ice cream and dessert toppings became the stuff of sweet legends. How is that? So good. Oh, it's so creamy. This is a 10 out of 10. Now, if you look at that, and look at the photo. Mm. It looks like it's more of like a patty. Yeah. But that liquid is what I enjoy. More like a cream. Got a lovely hard crisp shell. shell and a nice liquid centre. Give me more. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Try and fill me up. How many are you getting there? Two, four, six, eight. That's it. Mm. I like Delicious. the box. Mm. It's sweet, just portrait little. Mm. Yeah, nice, simple. Elegant and now. Very good. Do you know what I really don't think goes with uh, minty chocolate? Root beer. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Now we've been known to actually be quite into root beer lately. Yep. So. We interested to see where this is on the scale. On the scale, yeah. I would love to go back to um, Toronto and have a lovely frosty A and W. &W. We we'll, we would have to go and get the cook in the, the store, yeah, the, with the frozen glass. Yeah. It must make such a difference though, must not mm. it? It's like when you have a beer, a nice cold glass. So nice. Or when you have a Pepsi, a nice. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's nice. That smells quite a lot like the A and W, actually. Hmm. But I'm sure they don't smell that different, do they? It's like grape. Mmm. That's okay, nice. Yeah. It's amazing how much the root beer flavour's grown on us. Mm. I remember absolutely like hating yeah. it and just thinking it was so dentistry, you know. Yeah. And I do still feel quite medical, but do you know why I think sometimes it still feels like dentistry? Because there's like a cooling sensation. Yeah. In a way, it's like really close to mint. Mm. And yeah, I think that is because we're so used to having that in a mint toothpaste mm. flavour. It's lovely. I, we really have changed, haven't yeah. we? We're going up in the world. Up, up, up in the world. If you had to pick between Townie Club or um, Fago, what brand are you going with? I'm going to go with Fago but mainly based on the selection of drinks we've tried today yeah. because I love the orange soda and the cream soda and the rock and rye. Rock and rye. It's funny, I'm going Fago and actually when I looked at them, I thought I'd be more team really? Townie Club, but actually- What I made you think Fago. that? I just think the way the glass bottles, like we've loved some really good ones from yeah. glass bottles. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Oh, this is a hard one. Because there's so many different things. Yeah. Savory and then a sweet. Yep. And then a drink, maybe. Yep. For savory. Oh, is that? Oof. No, it is hard. I think I'm going to go for Downey's vinegar and sea salt. These are delicious, lovely crisps, and lovely flavour. Surprising. But I think I'm going for these the original sea salt. sea salt. 
They were so classic and delicious. Mm. The vinegar and sea salt were amazing. And I almost was actually picking one of those. So was I. I think it's just been an all round great really savory good, yeah. section. And then for the sweet, I'm going to go with the peppermint patties. And I'm going to go with the Sanders. Oh, we're really split Pecan today. caramel clusters. I'm surprised you didn't go for those, but those patties were amazing, weren't they? As I always say, I'm going to go for chocolate over fruit any day. Right, yeah, true. And my favorite drink was Fago orange soda. And my favorite drink drink was Fago Red Pop. How funny. Because I'm the queen of the Red 40. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes we pick exactly the same things. This time we've this literally time we, picked yeah, everything different. different yeah. How funny. We want to say a big thank you to Rich for that delicious box. It really was a lovely selection of sweet, savoury drinks, wasn't yeah. it? It was awesome. Uh, we will be sending Rich a box of British candy back to enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support the channel we've got a whole selection of british goodies on our website um so check them out you can also do the thanks down below which we've said about before and that's like just equivalent like of buying us a coffee to say thanks for you know the awesome videos but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya